everybody, my name is Tori Ann Grail, Miss West Virginia 2019, and I have been involved in the Miss America organization for the last four years. My talent at Miss America showcased my love of baton twirling with my dance twirl to Man of La Mancha. I have been a competitive baton twirler for 23 years, representing the sport five times on an international level. Today, I'm excited to show you how physics is the basis of every element in baton twirling. So, let's get started. The baton is a hollow rod made of lightweight metal, the shaft with weighted ends covered by a big ball, which is the big end, and the tip, the little end. The center can be found by balancing it on a singular finger, like I'm doing right now, and you'll have to adjust until you find the center, which is normally where we would tape our batons. All baton elements with the actual baton and body correlation include the following in some combination. Newton's laws of motion, Newton's laws of rotation, and gravity and friction. Some of the tosses I'm going to show you deal with a fixed axis, thumb or knuckle pad, that acts like a fulcrum, which is a pivot point, where the baton is your lever and pivots around your thumb or your knuckle pad to cause rotation. Gravity brings it back to you to enable you to do time tosses. Elbow pops are similar to time tosses, with two pivot points, which are fulcrums. Your baton acting as a lever and rotation. Rocks are a very unique trick that is all around a balancing act. These are a fulcrum oriented trick as well, where the fulcrum is off center to the lever so the baton can rock and not complete a full rotation around the arm. Elbow rolls are more of a centered balance trick where you have an entrance and an exit fulcrum and your baton acting as a lever is equally distributed to cause continuous pivots around your neck. While you travel in a circular pattern, the speed of your body must remain constant for the proper execution. Once you achieve the elbow pop element, you can then build these into combinations using both the left and right elbows, arms, and even continuing on into arms. Back neck rolls combine elements such as pivot points, rotation, and centripetal force because you are moving in a circular pattern, allowing the baton, acting as a lever, to pivot and be forced to stay on the neck area instead of flying off. The speed of your body must remain constant for the baton to keep its continual motion. In this next clip, I'm going to be showing you a few different views of fishtail elements that are very similar to the back neck rolls you just watched previously, using all of the same physical laws, rules, only these are done in a vertical pattern. You have regular, reverse, and fishtail carries that use pivot points, which are on the parts of your wrist lever, which is our baton, and centripetal force. To keep the baton on your wrist, again, the speed of the body must remain constant to execute this trick perfectly. It's interesting that when two tosses with the same amount of force are used and the rotation of the baton is the same, that they would come down at a different time. The answer to the previous question is that friction from the amount of space in the air taken up by the area the baton creates causes the difference between these two tosses coming down to catch. Tossing vertically, you have the length of the baton along with the width and height of the ball, creating a rectangular-like 3D prism-like space. My baton is 29 inches long with a width and height of approximately 1.75 inches. It takes up approximately 89 cubic inches in spatial volume. This pattern now takes up approximately 1,155 cubic inches in spatial volume. The more space an object displaces, the more friction there is on the object, so horizontal tosses return sooner than vertical tosses. In this element, you can see a slow-mo version of this trick where I toss a horizontal and vertical toss at the same time with the same force, complete a one spin underneath, and catch the horizontal baton much sooner than the vertical baton. And this is all due to friction.
Thank you for tuning into the Miss America organization for my lesson on the physics behind baton twirling. If you are watching this, make sure to snap a photo and use the hashtag Miss America How To. Bye!